everyone, I'm the Tax Pro, and today I'm going to show you how to start a company in QuickBooks Desktop. So what I currently have open is QuickBooks Accountant Desktop Plus. This is the version of QuickBooks Desktop that looks the same as Pro or Premier. So this is not Enterprise. I'll show you how to do that in a different video. This is going to be the same as QuickBooks Desktop Pro or Premier. So when you open QuickBooks Desktop, You'll end up having all of your companies here. You can edit the list right here and then select companies to hide. So you're not seeing any of our clients because I've hidden them. Um, in order to start a new company, you are going to go in here and click create a new company. Now, if you have a QuickBooks desktop file that you have like a backup for, you're not gonna create a new company. You would go in and open or restore an existing company, okay? But we're gonna create a new company here. And when we do this, it is going to ask us some questions. So um, I like to say that I'm the admin, and then I like to do start setup. Um, from here, sometimes it takes a minute, but it's going to ask us to sign into QuickBooks, our QuickBooks account. I'm going to pause this video while I do that. Okay, so I went on ahead and I logged into my QuickBooks account. Um, and now it's going to ask me for some information about the company. And some of this is required and some of this is not. Um, so the first thing that we need to know is business name. This is a required field. I'm just going to say ABC um, Construction LLC. And then you can select your industry. So there's a variety of different industries that you can choose. Obviously, we're going to do construction, but there is, you know, retail, um, you can do uh, all sorts of stuff. So advertising, PR, um, you can have medical, you can have um, lodging, all sorts of stuff. So we're going to do construction. Um, and then we're just going to do a general construction or a general contractor. Now it's going to want you to pick a business type. And some people get a little bit confused on this. Um, so sole proprietorship has no real formal um, formation. A partnership or an LLP, a partnership doesn't have to have like a, a real formation as far as like an LLC or anything like that. A single member LLC is the same as a sole proprietorship and a multi-member LLC form 1065 is the same as a partnership for tax purposes, okay? So for legal purposes, it may be different, but from a tax perspective, this sole proprietorship right here is gonna file the same form as the single member LLC, and this partnership will file this 1065 like this multi-member LLC. You may also have a corporation, an S corporation, a nonprofit, or other. I'm gonna go ahead and select an S corporation. It's gonna want the admin's email. It's already filled this in for me. Now those are the required areas. You can also add your employer identification number, which you would get from the IRS. You can add your phone number, your business address, your city, your zip, your state, and your country. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a couple of things in here uh, just so that there's something there that might not be the right number of, um, so let's go with 555-555-6155. You know, um, this is all made up. So we're just going to do, you know, 101 Spring Street. And we're going to have, you know, Sunnyville, Arkansas. And the zip code's, you know, going to be that. Um, so we're just going to make that up. And then we're going to say, great company. Oh, my tax ID. I didn't like that. Um, I need a number. So we'll just do... I think I'm seeing a number there. Okay. There we go. So now it's going to let me go in and create the company. So this is it getting set up on a brand new company for ABC Construction LLC. Uh, QuickBooks Desktop can take a minute. So we're just going to let it kind of think for a second. Um, you can always come back and edit the information that we've put in here. Um, you don't have to. Like, you're not tied to that particular address or anything like that. So... Um, now it's going to ask us if we want some help setting up. So we can go through and we can add some different um, 
we have things in here, it wants to know, do we want to add contacts? So do we want to import contacts? We can click here and we can add them. Do we want to add products and services? We can add additional products. So notice that it says you've added 40 services. QuickBooks went on ahead and gave us a suggested chart of accounts here and suggested products and services based on our industry. So I haven't added anything in here. QuickBooks went ahead and did it for us. We can edit this, okay? And then um, we can add our bank accounts. If you don't wanna do any of these items, you can just click start working and it brings you here to QuickBooks desktop. Um, so QuickBooks also wants to let you know, you know, that it does um, track data. Make sure that you understand what data is being tracked. Um, you can X out of that. And then this brings us to home. So QuickBooks Desktop looks very different from QuickBooks Online. If you are used to QuickBooks Online, this is going to look a little weird. Uh, we've got a upgrade available. Um, so this Accountant Center is going to pop up this is not going to pop up for you if you don't have the account version. And um, so that is essentially how you get started with QuickBooks Desktop. We now have the company set up. And from here, we can then go in and start doing things like creating the chart of accounts, um, importing contacts and all of that. And I'm gonna go over that in future videos, but that is a quick rundown on how to get a company set up in QuickBooks Desktop. If you are an accountant or if you are a bookkeeper, just be aware that you can, once you have this company in here, you can go ahead and hide that company from your main page. Um, and that's just best practice if you are going to see a client um, and you're gonna have that page pulled up, you don't wanna have your other client's information sitting there. Um, so if you have uh, found this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe um, and I will see you guys next time.